everybody. Welcome back to Children's Church. So let's begin this week by opening in prayer. So let's put our hands together and we're going to close our eyes and you're going to say after me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that we can all be connected to you and to each other through our online children's church. Some of our friends are unable to join in. Please watch over them and help them to know that you are with them just as you are with us. And that you love them just as much as you love us. In your caring heart, there is place for everyone. Please fill us with your peace and let that peace be felt by others in Jesus name Amen Now before we do some warming up let's light our candle do you remember why we light the candle? That's right, we light the candle as a reminder. The candle reminds us that God is the light of the world. But it also reminds us that with God's help, we can be lights in the world too. Now, we're ready to begin. Will you join me and do some warming up? So make sure that you've got somewhere to stand. Make sure you've got enough space to dance. Superheroes Unite 
superheroes, superheroes, superheroes unite. Superheroes, superheroes, superheroes unite. Up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Cuckoo Kangaroo. People by day, heroes by night. We fight for good. Are you warmed up? Now that we're warmed up, we're ready to do some worship together. So join me as we sing and dance and praise God together. Before I go, 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 I stop. Before I go, 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 I stop. Before I go, I stop. I don't want my day to flop Before I go, 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 I stop Before I run, 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 I walk Before I run, 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 I walk Before I run
my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea Silence, you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will follow you, oh My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore So let's check in with our liturgical calendar. Do you know where we are on the clock today? We're still in the green growing Sundays. We're still in ordinary time. We've had quite a lot of green growing Sundays and we've got quite a lot still to go. Now it's time for us to tell a story together. Would you like to listen to a story? Let's get ready for our story together. Now, let's get ready for our story together. So make sure that you're sitting somewhere comfortable. Have you put down everything that might distract you? Now let's take a deep breath in. And breathe slowly out again. 
Are you looking for that quiet place inside yourself? You know, the place you go when you talk to God. Are you ready for a story? Good. Let's begin. In the city of Bethlehem where Ruth had lived, Jesse made his home. Jesse was the grandson of Ruth, and he had many sons. One day Samuel came to Bethlehem in search of a new king. Samuel came to the house of Jesse because God told him that the king would be there. Jesse brought six of his sons to Samuel, but the new king was not among them. Samuel asked, Are there any more sons? Jesse said, Yes, there is David, the youngest, who is keeping the sheep. When Samuel saw him, he knew at once that David was the king he was looking for. He took his horn full of oil like the oil in this container. and poured it over David's head to make him the new king. This was very confusing, because there was already a king in the land, King Saul. But Saul had changed. An evil spirit tormented him. Still, David would not begin to rule until Saul died. Saul's sickness became worse. Someone suggested he needed music to feel better. So David, the shepherd boy, was brought to play the harp and sing songs to soothe the king. Some of David's songs can be found in the book of the Psalms. While David was still a young boy, there was a great war in the land. The Philistines wanted the land for themselves. The army of the people of God and the army of the Philistines were lined up ready to fight. A very tall man like a giant came out to challenge Saul's army. His name was Goliath. No one wanted to fight him. When David heard the challenge, he went forward to fight Goliath. They tried to put the armor of the king on him, but it was too heavy. David cast it aside and went against Goliath with five smooth stones. His Slingshot and his shepherd's staff. He had killed bears and lions to defend the sheep. Why couldn't he kill Goliath to defend the people? And he did. The people never forgot David's bravery. And when he grew up, he became a soldier in the army of the king. King Saul had many sons. One of them was named Jonathan. David and Jonathan became close friends. Jonathan always stood up for David and tried to protect him from harm even from his father the king. The king was very jealous of David. David was a great soldier, and over time he grew more popular than the king himself. This made the king so angry that he wanted to kill David. Jonathan spoke to his father about David and told him that David was a good man, but Saul would not listen. Jonathan knew that the only way for David to be safe would be for him to run away and hide from King Saul. This meant that the two good friends had to say goodbye. King Saul and his sons led the army against the Philistines once more, but this time he and his sons were killed. David was moving through the land with his army, and a young man came to him with the news that King Saul and his sons were dead. When David heard the news, he was very sad. David never forgot his good friend Jonathan, and later when he was king, he brought Jonathan's own son to live with him, to eat at his table, and give him the land that belonged to King Saul. It was time for David to be king. The young man brought to David the king's crown. All the tribes of Israel came to Hebron and made him king, saying, you shall be shepherd over the people. 
at the time he was 30 years old and he would be king for 40 more years. One of the first things David did was to go to the city of Jerusalem and take it from the Jebusite people. So now there was a city of David in Bethlehem and a second one in Jerusalem. Then David remembered that the ark had been lost to the Philistines. He led his army against the Philistines and defeated them. They went to get the ark and brought it into Jerusalem. The king danced in front of the ark as it was carried to its place in the tent like it had been in the desert. David wanted to build a house for God, a more beautiful place for the ark. But God said no. David was king of war. His son Solomon would build the temple. In the spring of the year, the time when kings go forth to war, David sent his army away. But he remained in Jerusalem. One afternoon he saw Bathsheba, the beautiful wife of Uriah the Hittite. He wanted her for himself, and so he sent Uriah the Hittite into battle where he was killed. Then King David married Bathsheba. One day the Lord sent Nathan the prophet to David. Nathan told King David a parable. A rich man and a poor man lived in the same town. The rich man had many sheep. The poor man had only one little lamb that he raised as a pet in his house. He even let it eat from his plate and drink from his cup. It slept on his lap. The lamb was like one of his own children. One day, someone came to visit the rich man, and the rich man didn't want to kill any of his own sheep for food to serve to the visitor, so he took the poor man's lamb and served it instead. David was furious at the rich man in the story. As the Lord lives, the man who did this deserves to die. He must pay for the lamb four times over because he did this thing and has no pity. Then Nathan said to David, You are that rich man. God has given you everything, and yet you took Uriah's wife for yourself. David was filled with sorrow. He wondered if he would die like King Saul. David did not die, but the first son he had with Bathsheba did die. David and Bathsheba were both filled with sorrow. But the next child they had lived. They named him Solomon. He would become the next king and would build a house for God. King David was not a perfect king. He made many mistakes, but he understood that and asked God to forgive him. And God did. When David was old and full of years, he died and was buried in Jerusalem. His son Solomon continued to rule over his kingdom and built the temple. The city of Jerusalem, the sheep, the houses, the underlay for the parable, the parable box, the Ark of the Covenant, The King's Crown David Jonathan The Shepherd's Staff The Slingshot The Five Stones David's Harp And the Oil to anoint David as king and the underlay.
Now, I wonder. I wonder what part of this story you liked best. I wonder what part is about you. I wonder if there's any part of this story that we could leave out and still have all the story that we need. Today we've got a few notices in Children's Church. You are invited to a children's church that's going to happen live on Zoom. There will still be the usual online children's church, but if you'd like to pop in and say hello, then you need to ask your mom and dad to log you onto Zoom at 11 o'clock next. Help us to give the gift of food. Let me show you how to do it. In the month of September, we are starting a special Bible study for everybody between the ages of 10 to 13 years old. We're going to be meeting on Google Meets. The link is here. I really hope that you can join us. Now that we're coming to the end of Children's Church, all that's left is for us to change the light of our candle together. Watch carefully as we change the light. We know that the light doesn't go out, it just becomes different. So as we change our light, watch carefully and see what happens. Can you see that the light is spreading out to fill up the room? Now wherever you go today you will have the light of Christ close to you and you will know that God loves you so join me as we say the benediction together may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.